Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and today I'm going to show you how to model addition and subtraction algebra equations using algebra tiles. A puppy weighed 6 ounces at birth. After two weeks, the puppy weighed 14 ounces. How much weight did the puppy gain? Let's let x represent the number of ounces gained. To answer this question, you can solve the equation 6 plus x equals 14. Algebra tiles can model this equation. To solve an algebraic equation, the first thing you do is isolate the variable, and that means get the variable alone on one side of the equation. I've set this this problem up with algebra tiles, but before I show you how to solve it, I want you to remember some magic words that will help you. Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you must do to the other. For me to isolate this variable x, I need to get rid of these six positive numbers. And the way to do that is to create zero pairs on that side. I can get rid of those six positives if I add six negatives. But remember the magic words. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. And now that I've done that, I can see a lot of zero pairs. So I can get rid of them. Once you get rid of the zero pairs, they're gone. So the answer to this problem is x equals 8. When you're through solving it, Plug your answer into the original problem and make sure it works. 6 plus 8 does equal 14. Let's try it again. A bulldog puppy weighed 2 pounds when it was born. A month later, it weighed 10 pounds. How much weight did the puppy gain in a month? Model and solve the equation. Don't forget, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you do to the other. I've set up my algebra tiles. I have 2 plus the variable x equals 10. My first step is to isolate the variable. I need to get rid of the 2 next to the variable. I'm going to do that by adding two negatives. But remember, whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do, the, do to the other. So now I see a lot of zero pairs. I'm going to get rid of those. That means they're gone. So I'm left with x equals 8. I plug it into the problem. 2 plus 8 equals 10. Here's my first problem. Model and solve this equation using algebra tiles. Well, first I put the variable, three negatives, equals two positives. There's my equation. Now I need to isolate the variable. I need to get rid of those three negatives. I'm going to add three positives to make them zero pairs. But remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. So I have to add three to both sides of the equation. And now I'm going to get rid of all the zero pairs I see. There there, and there. And remember, once the zero pairs are gone, it's gone. x equals 5. Always plug in your answer into the original problem and make sure it works. 5 minus 3 does equal 2. One more. There it is. I've set up the equation with the algebra tiles. And now I need to isolate the variable. I need to get rid of these four negatives. And I'm going to do that by adding four positives. But remember, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other. And now I'm going to get rid of the zero pairs. And I have zero pairs on the other side, too. and I'm left with x equals 1. If I plug 1 into this problem, 
then I would have 1 minus 4, the signs would be different. I would need to subtract, and that's 3, and then I would use the sign in front of the biggest digit, so that makes it negative 3. You're finished. Good job.